Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. Thank you very much for all your likes and shares and please subscribe whether you're a follower or whether you're new and welcome to the channel if you're new and also excuse me if the quality of the videos this week is not as good as usual as um, I'm having issues with my computer and internet. I'm trying to get it sorted out. I'll be fin finishing off the readings on my phone and I hope you're all well and safe and uh, I hope you will enjoy this reading as well. Uh, li I'm, like I said, I'll be taking four to six weeks off from lives and please follow me and enjoy the weeklies and the monthly romance and from time to time reviews and updates and new little videos because I am going to keep you informed on what's happening as I'm also working on my new website. There's a lot more choices of readings so if you want an extensive reading uh, from reliability to crystal ball or general then go and have a look at my website. Um, have a look at my website out of interest anyway because I'm also a life coach and I want to specialize in whiplash loss and a general life coach. If you know anybody that needs a coach then please um, share my website with them. Thank you in advance. I'm using a new deck and it's called the Golden Lenormand deck. As you can see it glistens in the light. It's all beautiful. It's so voluptuous. And uh, talking about the Golden Lenormand, I'm also using my black and golden tarot card. And you know that I'm a big lover of Lenormand because you get three readings or three answers in one card. Numerology, Cartomancy and the Lenormand. The bottom of the deck is um, from the Lenormand is the key, as I said, and the key means that you hold the key to your own life's path and decision and choices, which a lot of people seem to forget. You can open doors to positivity and you can close doors to negativity. It's up to you. You've also got number 33, that's an angelic number, so the angels are already coming in and showing you that they are working behind the scenes or in the wings. It is your stage. You've also got the Ten of Diamonds, which is the Ten of Pentacles, so and there is money coming your way, either through inheritance or a, a promotion or a new job or... Uh, um, a second job or somebody giving you a gift. This could be somebody in the family as in the normal tarot decks you see the Ten of Pentacles uh, a family reunited so there could be reunions and celebrations with family and friends. You could be celebrating a promotion, you could be celebrating uh, marriage. This could also mean expansion, expansion of a home. You could have bought a new home. You could uh, find out that you're pregnant or that your partner is pregnant. Um, the expansion doesn't really have to be just a, a pregnancy but it could also be a dog a, or a cat or an other kind of pet. pet. Uh, it, that is extending the family unit. Beautiful. 33 always th is also a 6 which brings you in balance so this week you will be in balance or be coming into balance you might be working or starting a partnership a business of your own with a partner since you have the lovers the lovers also means gemini or represents gemini this could be a soulmate um a soulmate doesn't have to be a life partner. This could be a, a person that thinks the same, does the same as you. You don't have to finish each other's sentences. You know what each other expects and n uh, wants. So this is a great partnership either in love or work or business. 
then we come in with the anchor. If you have a question with regards to a situation or a question on its own, then the answer is yes. The anchor means you're coming home to a safe haven and you feel comfortable there and you've slung your hook and you're there ready to stay. So if you've bought a new home, this new home will make you feel safe and sound. You've also got a number 8 here and that is the house of money and the house of power. You are in your power, you're in the, you feel independent and strong. You've also got wisdom, so use your wisdom correctly. Wisdom is power. Money is also the house of money, so that confirms the ten of diamonds. So money is coming your way, either through an inheritance, a gift, a loan, or whatever. But you, some, for some reason, you have sleepless nights because you've got the nine of spades here, which is also the nine of swords, and at the bottom, well, the nine is an ending of a phase of worries, and perhaps financial prop. Uh, worries. Put your stress and your worries next to your clothes at night and let the divine and the angels do the work so that you can sleep peacefully and rejuvenate and be ready for the new beginnings. Because where there is an ending, as nine is an ending, there is a new beginning. There could be two new beginnings or more new beginnings. It is up to you to which new beginning you are going to open up the door. In the middle of the week we have the child. The child means there could be a pregnancy, you could be hearing of a birth or of a birth of a child or of a project. Uh, you might be making more friends because number 13 means fellowship and 1 and 3 becomes a 4 which is proper foundations. These friendships uh, or partnerships will be built on proper foundations and will bring productivity. The child also reminds us that we have to be more playful. Let your inner child come out. You might be learning a new study and you'll be learning it playfully. So in the practice, in the practical side of life, hands on in other words, that's what I mean. But be more playful. Don't be too serious. That is what it also means. The child also means new beginnings. Beautiful. Now you've also got the page of spades, which is the page of swords. The page of swords um, is news. You will be receiving news. This could also be Aquarius, as he represents Aquarius, but don't forget Gemini and Libra. It could be about a child. It could be about your child, or a child of a friend, or a young person, like a teenager, uh, that you might be receiving n uh, news about. or you could be meeting one of the three air signs or there could be a prominent one around you that acts childish or is immature that is the feeling that I'm getting it could also be a Scorpio because you've got the death card underneath it so it could be a Scorpio child it could be an other Scorpio or perhaps this is a warning uh, about you don't be too immature grow up and don't be too serious all the time. Find the balance between play and seriousness. Beautiful. Also, the death card represents Scorpio, like I said, but it also represents transformation. Leaving, closing a face or finishing a face and leaving the old behind and making room for the new so that the new can come in. You are no longer the caterpillar, you are becoming the butterfly. So spread your wings and don't be scared. Don't be scared like a little child. Dare to come out of your comfort zone. Spread your wings. After all, you are in the spotlight. The spotlight means that you've got recognition. You are being seen. There could be a Leo around you that is interested, but you do 
have recognition for your hard work, your determination, your tenacity. This could mean a promotion. This could be a next level in a romantic relationship or in your working or career relationship. This could also mean more clients if you have your own company. You might be traveling for work or going on holiday or moving home. Again, this is um, a card stating moving home. Well, you, where there is a spotlight, there is also illumination. Something is highlighted, so you might need more information with regards to something. So, if you're signing contracts, look at the small print. Let it uh, uh, let it be checked over by a professional if you have any doubts. You've got the Ace of Diamonds again, a new beginning. Uh, new study, new house, uh, new relationship with a Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn. It might have already started in Capricorn. And wow, this is a stable relationship because you've got 31 which becomes also a 4. So you've got 30, uh, four, 4 double numbers. Beautiful. Again, double numbers. 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 and you've got an other four so four 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 is significant again angelic numbers this new beginning the ace of diamonds is the ace of pentacles could also mean um, not only a ho home relationship or a partnership but it could also mean a new job if you haven't got one you are being recognized big time because you've also got the six of wands which is also recognition so be aware new beginnings also you might be hearing of a birth of a child or a project awesome the time the ground is fertile to sow seeds if you haven't yet the sun will shine on them and the warmth will be bringing them out to grow and blossom and so you can pluck the harvest so Leo is significant Scorpio is significant Aquarius is significant and all the other air signs Gemini beautiful okay <clears throat> you've got the six of ones six of ones means victory champion you're being seen recognized you're going onwards and upwards moving home going on holiday awesome promotions as well or the next level in relationships whatever resonates with you well you're going to have the money definitely and so you might be buying a house you might be upgrading expending from an apartment to a house and a garden um, the house in Lenormand also could mean that you are isolating yourself and you are mm, not coming out so the advice here is come out and play play come out and play and be fun let your inner child come out come out of your comfort zone don't um, be scared don't be like scared like a child to come out of your comfort zone you're not going to get there nobody's going to knock on your door and say you've got the promotion or will you come and work for me get out there put yourself out there into the cyber world get connected cyber world as well because this news could come through cyber email text message or uh, telephone call so the Sun is also in the sky also air uh, so put yourself out into the cyber world be seen and you've got the king of hearts which is the king of cups which is Scorpio cancer really but don't forget Scorpio or Pisces so very powerful water energy you get your you if there isn't a prominent cancer around you or Scorpio uh, or Pisces this could be yourself but you might be highly sensitive you might be taking a page out of their book 
and yes you are being seen this could be it is cancer but don't forget the other two Scorpio and Pisces so if so you are uh, you've got two signs screaming Scorpio there could be an other prominent Scorpio around you Scorpio I think you're going to celebrate because you've also got the three of cups Wow beautiful you might be partnering up with another Scorpio that explains the balance because the lovers is balance awesome um, also you know you can understand another Scorpio um, if you compare them to yourself you might have uh, built up a, a friendship and a partnership already a friendship and you want to be a partner in business or get married so you know how each uh, feels and thinks and does things and the expectations are the same so you are balanced you are the soulmates wow beautiful you complement each other that is what I'm hearing so there will be celebrations with family and friends there could be marriage with an other Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces but I've got more of a feeling it is Scorpio Scorpio you are a lovely sign don't crawl back I say that quite a lot with you because I've got such a strong feeling if um, if you're not comfortable uh, and you don't want to if you're not coming out of your comfort zone and you're stuck it's like I see you going back into your little shell remember you are worth loving you are lovable everybody's an individual yes be picky who you choose to be your friends you're good but don't close yourself off you have a right to be seen you have a right to be recognized and to be respected like everybody else remember that so get on your high horse and be seen let other people see you ride that white horse that you are the knight on a white horse be seen that is all I'm saying you've got it made if you come into action use that key with wisdom I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and be creative because 3 is creation and again you're going up from 3 to 4 beautiful awesome and remember your double numbers 444 four, four, and 3 3 I love you all Take care, please like and subscribe and please share. Thank you and give us the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao.